Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be teaching you on how to use CAM. Uh, CAM is uh, the FPS monitoring program <coughs> excuse me, that I use. So yeah, I used to use MSI Afterburner but um, CAM is just better and easier to use. So yeah. So what you want to do is I will leave a link in the description on how to download it. And you just want to write NZXD uh, CAM over here. And it's the first link and this will greet you to this web page you just want to um, press download now and it will download for you uh, I'm gonna cancel this because I already have it as you can see um, this is a sign in sign in option it's an optional uh, feature but if you do create an account you can add more features to cam such as such as um, you can name your own PC was your own cam but I will get into that in when I open up cam you can also sign in with your Facebook or your Google Plus account so yeah so once you have downloaded the cam you can just um, open up cam like that just press yes and once you have opened up cam installer you just wait let's just wait for this there we go so once you have the tab um, opened, just press next. Press I accept the terms of li of the license agreement. Press next. Uh, these, if you have any hardware of CAM, such as Grid or Kraken, which is a cooler for your CPU. So yeah, I don't have any of these at the moment. So yeah, just press next. And CAM folder. This is um, where you want to save your CAM files. So yep, I'm just gonna keep it basic basic at my program files 86. So press next and install. Now cam will install. And after that, it should be over here as you can see. Now it just it says completing the cam setup wizard. So just press finish because it's uh, fully um, finished. Now you need to restart your PC for the files to take effect, otherwise CAM will not work. So I will be right back when I uh, restart my PC. Okay, so once you have um, restarted your computer, you have now full access to CAM. So what you wanna do now is just double click on CAM and CAM will open up now, as you can see. Um, you have, uh, again, you can create your account and just you can log into uh, your settings, but I'll do that later. Uh, again, you can create it with your Facebook account or your Google Plus. Um, so you can press Remember Me to log in. So you don't have to do this step every time you log in into Cam. So unless you don't, this is what I mean by this is optional. You can also continue as a guest. And if you don't want to create a account on Cam, just press Don't Show again and continue as Cam. But I have an account on Cam, so I won't do that. Again, um, one of the features is that you can name your comp uh, your Cam such as I'll probably call mine Game Master 1967's uh, PC or computer or whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, it shows you, I'm going to explain this as simple as, ca as I can. Those are for those of you who don't know much about computers. So this is my um, hard disk drive, which is my HDD. I don't have an SSD at the moment, but I will be getting one soon. Um, <coughs> I've, uh, as you can see the RAM, this is the RAM that's being used at the moment and uh, these are the programs that I have running in the background at the moment which is OBS which I'm using to record this presentation and Audacity to record my voice so yeah and CAM of course which is this so you got your it says here your um, processor uh, it's temps and load so yeah, and your graphics card as well, it has your temperatures and your load as well. So if we go to advanced here, um, as you can see my processor has 4 cores, as all i5 do, except for the new ones I think, I'm not too sure, don't question me on that. Um, it shows you the core clock and all that, the voltage, uh, it also has the graphs of your, pro of your cores. And uh, it says you have your CPU, you can also check it on your GPU. As you can see your motherboard all that great stuff you can go into high detail on your specs you can always um, open up cam and just check on how things are so yeah uh, what did you um, now that I have shown you this you can also expand it 
so this screen will pop up as you can see and you can have it maybe while you're doing something maybe work or so you can always have this up and uh, like to the side and do your work and, and you're keeping an eye on your temperatures and all that so that's always good to have and yeah so now that I have shown you this it's pretty basic so you can it has a graph as you can see it all it has very simple steps just keep an eye on them uh, on your build this is your high detailed uh, specs of your computer as my graphics card uh, at the moment it's only using 60 watts my graphics card uses 60 watts only my, my processor uses 84 watts <coughs> max ddp um, socket type as you can see stock frequency uh, 3200 megahertz and uh, my graphics card default clock is um, as you can see and um, yeah my motherboard uh, my model as you can see is this is the name of my motherboard is an ASRock C97 anniversary um, as you can see by the chipset you can also see by the chipset uh, South Bridge uh, BIOS version BIOS date and my memory which is the RAM Crucial for manufacture, crucial technology, capacity I've got 16 gigabytes, which is uh, two 8 gigabytes uh, I've got, and uh, default frequency and type, which is DDR3 RAM, um, and timings and all that. So this is my HDD, as you can see. So yeah, and games, again, you can always log in and do it yourself. So yeah, once you have uh, done all this, you can now, I will show you now how to do your FPS. So um, when you first open up cam, you may get some notifications. So you can just disable it from here and just press F changes. And here's where the font starts with the FPS overlay, which I get my FPS uh, counter. So um, you can always choose it different colors, but my one is green. I always choose it to green. You can always, um, the best colors is either green or yellow. So yeah all white but um white's not that great but uh yeah you can add your you can tweak your stuff which i will explain your fps how many fps you're getting in game your average fps so this is for example minimum let's just say maximum fps i got was 100 uh average i got was 80 and the minimum i got was maybe 60. so it shows you as you can see it shows you how many uh, minimum FPS you have had, and average and max FPS you've gotten. So resolution, this is uh, if you have it at 1080p and you want to downscale it to maybe let's just say 1280, uh, 1280 by 720, it will show you here the resolution and memory usage, which is your um, RAM. So your CPU usage as well. You can also keep on your CPU usage and your GPU as well. And effects, which is VSync, but I don't have this on. But this is uh, you can also turn it on if you want. And time, which is how many time you have been recording this. So yeah, and um, you can always change your um, your front, your font. Sorry, not front. <laughs> and um, I choose this one. And you have your font size, you can choose it small, medium, large or extra large. I like to go with extra large because it's more big and you can uh, visualize it better. And scale, you can or you have to have this on because if you want to downscale it, if you're making a video and you put it to like maybe 12, uh, you have it at 1080p and you put it at 1280 by 720, it will stay the same size, it will not go bigger. Because MSI After Burner has that problem, so that's why it comes better. Uh, and sh um, overlay toggle you have to press you know to get the FPS in uh, monitoring in game you have to press shift and O together or you can also change it to alt you can just press alt and O and to change your overlay you can press shift and T and that will change it to maybe top right to, uh, bottom right bottom um, left and top left but I keep it usually at um, top left depends what games I'm playing if it's a game that um, maybe has a lot of um, maybe let's just say uh, a lot of um, sun or let's just say something bright and you can't see the FPS and you can always move it down to like the bottom and all that. Um, so yeah, these are the um, settings I currently use when I uh, do my benchmarks. So once you have done this, just press save changes and you are now good to go. Now, um, again, I'm going to log in into my account. So just give me a second. OK, 
okay so once you have logged it into your cam account you will get access on some features which I will show you some pretty cool stuff you can do to cam so let's just give it a second for cam to load and bam there we go so once you have logged in into your cam you can go to your build and press edit PC you can change your computer's name so I'll just change mine to game master masters PC for example or whatever you can choose whatever you want you can also put in your PC part uh, which is a website where you can buy um, PC parts from in order to make your build so it's a very good website so we just paste that in there for your parts that you've ordered so just paste them in there if you want and also you can change your image of your um, cam so I can just put for example um, let's put the um, where are you there you are so you can just put this for example uh, which is the um, logo that uh, we use for the game master as you can see so just press save the changes and um, it will now be recognized as game masters PC so that's pretty cool you can also start with games start game now and um, like we discussed before it will bring you into the game FPS monitoring so that's pretty much it on how to use cam I just told you the basics okay so once you have uh, done all those steps you if you want to open up cam you just um, so I'm just going to test to rock I've got it open at the moment as you can see you just got to press shift and O um, there we go as you can see it does take like maybe a couple of seconds to go on so as you can see it's minimum 35 ps average 54 but this is on the menu it's not the full thing so we go to in game i will show you some uh, some gameplay and all that uh, i might do a benchmark on turok who knows but turok's pretty easy to run so i don't know if i'll do that but as you can see um this is your fps your minimum fps you're getting your resolution that you're playing it at and your memory your gpu and your, uh, your cpu and your gpu so yeah, so when Turok uh, you know opens now, we will um, see how many great, uh, many good FPS we shall get. We're probably gonna get a very good because I mean, it's an old game. So yeah, when Turok runs, there we go. So as you can see. And that's your FPS. If you want to change, if you want to change the overlay, as in like you want to change the direction, uh, the bottom left of that, just press Shift and T, and it will move, as you can see. So, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next benchmark video or tutorial video. Who knows? So I will might do a video on how to record your uh, benchmarks and all that. So yeah. See you soon, guys. Peace.